Welcome back. Well, when it comes to our health, little tiny changes can really have a huge impact and make a big difference. And that's the idea be behind 5210 Health Revolution. Danielle Domingo is a dietitian with Akron Children's Hospital. She joins us now with what it is, break it down, and how it works. And it's like a lot of little changes. Yes. This 5210 healthy message um, was really uh, pioneered um, in Maine. So this is for their their healthy weight program. And this these are goals that I like to think of them as smart goals. So they're more specific, they're measurable, yeah. they're attainable, realistic, and they're timely. So they're really just easier for people to grasp and kind of focus in on a goal. And it, small steps really add up. Instead of going on these fad diets that then you have to get a book and change everything in your life and every the difference in a whole house, is affected because mom's on a diet or dad's on a exactly. diet or something like that. And diets don't last, they're not forever. I think yeah. it's very important to build healthy habits that last a lifetime. So building a healthy lifestyle. And that takes setting small goals. All right, so we start with five. So five. So five represents five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Okay. So a typical serving of fruits and vegetables is about a cup. So one measuring cup. Um, when you're thinking about leafy greens, though, it's going to be two cups as a serving size since that takes up more volume. Okay. But in general, it's going to be one cup of fruit or one cup of broccoli is going to count as a serving. And so we need five servings a day of fruits and veggies, especially now that we want to really make sure that we're eating um, immune boosting foods mm, given true. everything that's going on right, right. now. So we want to make sure that we're having those antioxidant rich foods and fruits and How vegetables. Does it count if you're throwing tons of fruits in, in a smoothie for the it day? It definitely counts. Um, juice, I do not count so much because we're not getting that fiber in the juice. Sure. But if we're making a smoothie, then we're incorporating the entire fruit. So all of that fiber, all of that good stuff. And if you are heavy that day on veggies, maybe not so much on fruit, that's okay right. too. In, in general, I, in general. Yeah, I like to steer um, my patients more towards three cups of vegetables a day and two cups of fruit a day. So okay. more so on the vegetables. Sounds good. Not as much sugar. Yes. All right, what's two? So two is two hours or less of screen time. So we want to make sure, especially um, our kids at home are not just sitting yeah. and staring at a screen. And a screen includes t a television, iPad, phone, computer. So we want to make sure that we're getting up often after 30 minutes of sitting, you know, maybe be active for 30 minutes. You can even kind of make it a game. Turn off the TV. Eat meals as a family is important. True. With the TV off. Right. All right, turn it off. All right, what's one? <laughs> one. One hour of physical activity a day. Woo, that's so a is, lot. I, <laughs> Do so, stairs count? Walking in a parking lot. I call it joyful movement or sweaty activity. Finding something that you love. Okay. So you don't have to force yourself to get on the treadmill if you don't like to be on the treadmill. So finding something that you love and enjoy, like Zumba or Pilates, or if you like to run outside and enjoy the weather that's hopefully coming, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> then that's important as well. So diet's important, but also exercise is a big component of maintaining healthy weight. Walking your dog counts, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, just get out there doing something physical. Yes. Okay, what's zero? Zero. So this, I think, is the biggest goal. This is one of the first goals that I set with patients. If we walk away from our first nutrition visit with one goal, it's eliminating sugary drinks, and that includes uh. juice. So we have such a sugar rush with these beverages, and we're, it's recommended that we consume anywhere from six to nine teaspoons or less a day of sugar. And if you see here, just in a Fanta pop I brought, there are 17 teaspoons of sugar just that in one. That is scary. That is how much sugar? Just in one. And so that's this is in sugar this. overload for your body. It's oh too much. Goodness. And same with looking at juice. So even though it's saying it's 100% fruit juice, we're looking at 10 and a half to 12 teaspoons of sugar just in juice. And your body is not being able to identify. I mean, it's just sugar. So your body's releasing that insulin and starting that whole process. That's a ton of sugar. And some parents just keep filling up their kids' sippy cups and stuff with things like this, exactly. thinking it's and okay. And you think about we're consuming all of this sugar more than the recommended daily amount just in breakfast. Right. So right. cutting that, I actually see significant weight loss, you know, upwards of two to three pounds a week of weight loss, just eliminating those sugary drinks. Is sugar in wine too, right? 
unfortunately, a little okay. bit of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Right. Thanks. Do. So five two one zero, easy, five, two, attainable, one. little tiny changes that can make a huge impact. Yes, I love it. Thank yes. you. We Thank wanted you. to say that today is National Registered Dietitian Day. Yes. So happy Registered Dietitian Thank Day. Thank you. I think it's I think it's so important to um, seek nutrition advice from a nutrition expert. Um, just at Akron Children's alone, I work with at least 16 dietitians at the main campus. We all wow. have specialty areas. I work with an amazing group. And again, we're known as the nutrition experts that are registered and licensed. Um, and have gone through a series of educations, um, dietetic internships, mm -hmm. and a registered dietitian exam. And it's great to see the impact on what it can do medically for people as well. Yes, exactly. Making those changes in your diet. Yes. Thank you. Thank great you. Great to see you.